guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another wedding edition and this time I've done wedding place cards which look like this. They're keeping in theme with uh, my other wedding stationery with the whole sort of doily effect to look like lace. I've also got little um, bottles on them which have matches in and say um, Chris and Kat the perfect match which are our wedding favours which I thought would be nice to sort of incorporate into our place cards. So if you'd like to see how I made these then keep on watching. Okay so to make these place cards you will need a ruler, a pencil, a prit stick, some double sided sticky tape, scissors, brown card or whatever card of your choice, some paper doilies and a gift. Okay so first off you want to take your piece of card and you want to measure 10 centimetres across which conveniently with this card this is 10 centimetres here and then you want to measure 7 centimetres down and mark off that with a pencil then we're going to take your guillotine and there's your first card. Next measure and mark the card at 6cm across and then also at 7cm. Take some scissors and then with the guillotine, school the marks at six centimetres and again at seven centimetres. Fold the card along the scores, the first line back on the card and the next line away from the card, which should look like this. Next, take a doily and place over where you would like it to be on your card. This is just for your sort of lace design. Turn the card over and the doily together and then with a pencil draw the outline of the card onto the doily. Like so. Next cut out the doily and then stick the doily onto your card. I've just used a prit stick but you could use double sided sticky or whatever glue you'd like. And then stick it onto the card like so. Then you want to cut a small piece of double sided sticky tape and stick this onto the right hand side of the card. Next take a spare piece of card and guillotine into a triangle shape. I've just used some excess card, I did no real measurements for these, just because it's to help stand your card up. Next take the triangle and score a small fold along the length of the triangle. And then you want to fold the scored edge which is going to be stuck onto the back of your card. Then cut a small piece of double sided sticky tape and stick onto the back of the triangle before adhering to the place card. And you want to stick it onto the left hand side of your place card, sort of in the centre-ish. <laughs> and it should look like that. Then you want to peel off your double sided sticky tape and apply the wedding favour. And that's what it should look like. That is how I made our wedding place cards. They are super duper easy to do 
Um, in keeping with the rest of our wedding stationery as well, if you've not seen my other videos, I have done one on Save the Dates and another one on wedding invites. I will link those in the down bar below, so please check those out. As I say, they are so simple and I think the wedding favour being on the card is quite cute and easy for people to sort of keep hold of as well. So um, I've just sort of put, I've shown you my one actually, I've just put um, the name of the person onto the wedding card and there we are, it's like so easy, I don't know what else I can say really. Um, stay tuned for my next video which will be my thank you cards and I think that might actually be the last of my wedding stationery which makes me sad. <laughs> um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you guys next time. Bye!